On this Valentine's Day, a love story that spanned more than a half century. Three years after we brought you the story of a couple renewing their wedding vows, this Milwaukee family is now mourning the death of their beloved patriarch. But as Christine Flores discovered, also honoring his sacrifice to country and everlasting love to his wife, children, and community. I praise God for everything my dad did for his country. I praise God for everything my dad did for our family and for our friends. Marisa Gonzalez remembers her father, Sergeant Juan Cruz, a Vietnam veteran whose funeral took place on January 29th. He was a farmer first, and then a soldier, and then a brewery worker for 33 plus years. So my parents are Wisconsin proud. They were both born in San Antonio. They met here. Juan and Guadalupe met in Palmyra in 1967. At the time, Juan already had plans of enlisting in the army. He was drafted to Vietnam, but he would still write and send letters whenever he could to his sweetheart, Guadalupe. Those memories now treasured and framed like this letter, where Juan sent Guadalupe photos from his company asking her to show his family and ending with an I love you. Que yo lo conocí y luego, luego me enamoré de él. Juan's wife Guadalupe says she fell in love with him the moment she laid eyes on him because of his personality and character. She goes on to say he was always filled with love. I saw in his eyes when he talked to me how much he loved my tía. <laughs> she goes, you know, Juanito, Sometimes she gets on my nerves, but I love that woman. <laughs> and the love that my uncle had for my, for my aunt is the same kind of love my dad had for my mom. Juan and Guadalupe got married on March 22, 1968, right after he returned from Vietnam. He was with the 9th Infantry Unit, which is a highly decorated and recognized unit in Vietnam. You may not have known that. Uh, Juan was also I heard of a, a gunner on a helicopter. Uh, one of the most dangerous positions to be in. And one thing you must know about being a gunner, you volunteer for that. You go on very dangerous missions when you're on a gunner. So uh, that shows something about Juan's character and his valor. So I salute him for that. The couple had four kids and now have 13 grandchildren. I just love my dad. He, he does so much. The last couple of years meant a lot because since retirement, he showed us all how much he loved us, my mom. He loved my mom so much, and uh, I'm thankful for that. I'm proud of my dad. We first brought you the couple's love story in 2018. Juan was unexpectedly hospitalized, but he still wanted to renew his vows. Plans were made and a priest was called for their 50th anniversary at the VA hospital. And they've been married for over 50 years, 53 years. And that, that beautiful love that they have shared with one another is so precious. And one of the things that Guadalupe said about her husband was that he was very patient. And all of the Guadalupe and the whole family say that he was very patient, very generous. A seven-time amputee, a hero in his own right in, for, for this country in the way he served and the way he lived his life after his service, which was equally as important as the way he served in Vietnam. Family says the amputations were caused by Juan's exposure to Agent Orange, a herbicide and defoliant chemical used during the Vietnam War. He fought the worst war, which was Vietnam, and I, I just want to honor my brother-in-law today, and I want to salute you, Juan, for fighting for your country and fighting for your family. He was so proud of being a soldier, yeah. and he was always there. And whatever honors he got here, he deserved. The family received a Purple Heart for Juan's service, a rose ceremony from the American GI Forum, a Latino veteran organization, an American flag, and a last salute. This flag is a symbol of our appreciation for your loved one's honorable and faithful service. He suffered, but it doesn't matter. He wanted to be there, and I'm very, very proud of him. And I'm going to miss him 100%, but I know the Lord is with him. 
And God has given me peace in my heart. 